everybody, and welcome to the Angler's Report, your primary source for local fishing news, tips, tricks, and tall tales. I'm your host, Cody Brinkman, and I cover Southeast Michigan. That means the Detroit River, all the way down the western basin of Lake Erie, into northern Ohio, and a little bit west. Now, this is our first episode, and we're already late in spring. So let's talk spring so far in Southeast Michigan. Now, it's been a gradual climb in temperature. It's been very pleasant, actually. This spring has lacked some of the drama that I associate with spring. And what I mean by that is the big swings in temperature where you've got blown out rivers, chocolate milk, hot one day, freezing cold the next. Don't get me wrong, we've had our days because it still is Michigan. But overall, it's been a steady climb in temperatures. And from the bass angler's point of view, that's great because a nice, stable climate that is just doing exactly what they needed to do lets them do exactly what they need to do and that means good fishing for us as well i did want to get this out this weekend because as we know there is a big drop um what's that going to mean this weekend i don't think it's going to affect anything that bad i think it might slow them down it might put them into a little bit of a a shocker they might change uh fish of all species might change their patterns up a little bit not even their whole pattern they might just move to a little bit deeper water a little bit shallower water i, I imagine that they'll probably if they saw a bass around their beds they'll probably just hang out right there and get a little bit moody so adjust accordingly all right so let's check out those uh water temps just from uh, the last couple weeks let's see if we can get a couple pictures up <laughs> park uh so we stopped out at jeff's out there we uh we heard from brian he had a two hour limit 17 to 20 feet of water consistently he said he was uh he's been hammering them out there uh so good job brian out at the lagoons there's always lots of people fishing out there and that was the that was the case last sunday that was uh that was the case pretty much every day this week that i was there out there at the boat launches um of course uh Folks, some folks release bass right there at the ramp, so that's a good spot to check for fish. And uh, the lagoons are nice and accessible. <clears throat> a couple guys out there fishing uh, said that they had been doing really well on the bluegill back around, uh, back in the woods there around the lagoons at Sterling State Park. And uh, the younger brother there, Jake, caught his uh, first fish earlier that day, actually. Catfish, so good job, Jake, keep it up. Carl, Kim, and Kirk of Toledo. What's up, guys? A family who fishes together um, still have done well all this spring at Elizabeth Park up there in the Detroit Refuge. They say uh, the refuge was crowded, uh, and Kirk said it was battle fishing. So uh, get there early. If you haven't been to the Detroit Refuge, if you haven't heard about it yet, it is a huge multi-million dollar pier up there uh, down river around Trenton. Uh, south of Elizabeth Park and all that stuff, Riverview area, and uh, it's I think it's something like 800 feet goes out into the river, and it can really get you out into that water. That's uh, that can be it's tough to find spots, you know. It's tough to get into those walleye holes if you don't have a boat. So I'm stoked on that. I did. I went out there, and of course it was freezing rain for me. That's just that's typical for me. But I did get out there. That's when I'm trying for walleye. It's it's bad news. The, the whole the whole game changes. And, uh, we'll get some walleye. Keep up with me. I'll, I'll get one someday. It's been it's been it's been six Almost years. All of my fishing since I've lived here has been uh, river smallmouth. But the name of the game out at Sterling State Park uh, this last week has been uh, largemouth. So for some quick facts on old bucket mouth, we're gonna go to the old trusty source, McLean's New Standard Fishing Encyclopedia. One of the most important game fish, the largemouth is regionally known as the green bass, the green trout, Oswego bass, and the black bass. There are three key points that differentiate them from a smallmouth. 
the larger jaw extending behind the eye uh, where Smalley's dorsal fins uh, continue all the way down in one, one fin. The large mouth is split. You can see them fan out a lot when they're over their beds. Uh, whereas uh, small mouth, especially river small mouth, they get a crazy sleek look. They get longer and that looks cool. Largemouth have a pronounced dark band going down their side where uh, Smalley's uh, are vertical stripes like banding. Largemouth in the north are going to spawn uh, late May to, to June. Into June, even in northern latitudes when water temps are 62 to 65 degrees. That should go back to earlier where I was talking about these steady climbs of water temps have been good for the bass spawn. Nesting usually occurs in shallow water, 12 to 36 inches, pretty close to shore, uh, within seven feet often, according to McLean's. In the north, these bass grow slower than their southern relatives. Uh, an 18 inch bass up here is gonna be about seven years old. So if you are, if you're practicing catch and release, make sure to get them back real quick, take good care of them, because it's an older fish and they take a while to get that big. Remember, McLean's was written 20 years ago, so when he says that a, a 10 pounder uh, would be rare, uh, that's that's true. But Geary's consistently putting out bigger and bigger bass on the smallmouth side. This is we're talking largemouth, but I've been talking to a cat from up in Canada, and he's on the quest for the seven pounder, and he's just putting up bigger and bigger fish all the time. So we're gonna get him, to him in the next few weeks when his season opens up in July. So stay tuned for that. web and tournament news uh late in the game for tournament news like i said it's already june there's already been the bulls harbor tournament right here <laughs> missed that um as well as some other stuff the walleye tournaments all grass the 25th is it uh sometime in july but it's the 25th super uh super anniversary super duper anniversary or something like that for them. um there are salmon tournaments all over michigan a 333 tournament trail deal. We'll get an image up of that. And, uh, I was talking about the Bulls Harbor page earlier. You guys should follow that because, uh, again, that is an awesome research resource. So, um, for just quick posts and great stuff to click on. Uh, got lots of great stuff on there. So, here's a picture. Uh, this is kind of a Downer, uh, a couple guys got uh, booked. They were uh, way over their limit, 60 fish a piece, 60 fish a piece, something like that. Uh, each of them just like, a whole ton of fish. And uh, they even had like photos of like all these like fish in their crib and stuff. Uh, uh, they were older cats and they were probably just used to just whale on fish and uh, uh, shit the bummer all around. But um, we're gonna get a, we'll get a image up of the uh, uh, limits there uh, and then for every morning round guys uh, don't take more than you need uh, especially if you just kind of have it piled up in your freezer so uh, watch out for that guys other news right here locally uh, uh, the water really came up for guys at every that it looked like at every marina we're gonna show up pictures <coughs> Uh, here's a picture of Jason G. His bow, and he was kind enough to give me the thing. Uh, give me a call. Jay also said uh, he learned a good lesson on having loose lines, guys. So uh, make sure you're checking your bows. Uh, I'm sure everybody's aware. Bring walleye frenzy down in Avon, and uh, Bill Warren was kind enough to. Uh, speak with me on the phone uh the winner of the this year's and tell me a little bit about this tournament uh, there's tons of tournaments coming out like this uh all the time and uh it's a, it was an online walleye tournament based on length where bill submitted the length of his fish uh, we got to get the scoop on exactly how long it was because there's another one for summer and fall according to bill uh, big payout he won 2500 bucks, so that was cool. Nice payout, though. 
good job. He won with a 38 and a half inch fish, and we got pictures of that. Not a great job though. So these online tournaments are a big thing going on. Kayak bass fishing does it. Um, I've looked at them all the time. They look like all. All right, guys, and with that, that's uh, the fishing news. Check in soon for the next report. Like and subscribe. Thank you.